Hello students, recently CBSE has already released a sample paper for all subjects for the board exam 2021. In today's video, I will be discussing the blueprint of standard mathematics of class 10. Here you can see the chapter wise marking scheme. So from the first chapter, real numbers, one question for one mark, one question for two mark and one question for three mark will be asked and total six marks will be asked from the chapter real numbers. Again from the chapter polynomials one question of one mark and one question of two mark will be asked and recently they have introduced situational based question or case study type of questions. So from this chapter polynomials, one question will be based on case study. So they will be giving and five sub questions will be there. Out of that five sub questions, you need to choose four questions. It will be like multiple choice question. Now from the chapter pair of linear equation, two questions of one mark and one question of five mark will be asked. So total 7 marks will be asked from pair of linear equations. From the chapter quadratic equation, 2 questions of 1 mark and 1 question of 3 mark. So total 5, quest 5 marks will be asked from quadratic equation. Again from arithmetic progression, from the sample paper, I can make out that only 1 question of 1 mark has been asked. But in the previous year and all, so many questions were asked from the arithmetic progression. So this time, according to the sample paper, only one question of one mark has been asked. Now from the chapter triangles, it is also one of the important chapter. One question of one mark, again one question of three mark. From this chapter triangles, one situational based question or case study type of question will be asked. Again, five sub questions will be there. Out of that five sub questions, you need to choose four questions and uh, four question and you need to answer it. Again, those questions will carry one mark. So, one plus four plus one, like eight marks, will be asked from the triangles. From coordinate geometry, one question based on case study or situational based question will be asked again one two mark question will be asked so total six marks question will be asked from the chapter coordinate geometry from trigonometry two questions of one mark one question of two mark so total four mark will be asked so this time usually in the last year and all from trigonometry at least eight marks question they used to ask this time they have reduced the weightage for this chapter but from application of trigonometry, one three mark question and one five mark question. So total eight marks question is asked from application of trigonometry. Now from the chapter circles, two questions of one mark and one question of two marks. So total four mark question will be asked from the chapter circles. And this time they have deleted the four mark question instead of that five marks they have introduced. Now from the chapter construction, one question of one mark and one question of two marks, the total three marks will be asked. From chapter areas related to circles, <coughs> one question of one mark and one question of three marks, so total four mark questions asked. Surface area and volume, one question of one mark and one question of five marks will be asked from surface area and volume. So that total six, six marks will be asked from surface area and volume. So from the chapter statistics, again one case study question will be asked, question based on case study will be asked and two questions of three mark will be asked. So this questions based on situational problems or case study, you will be having five sub part, each will be carrying one mark, out of that only four you need to attend. So four plus six, ten marks. And from the chapter probability, only one question has been given in the sample paper for one mark. So one mark will be asked from the chapter probability. So this time from the chapter probability and arithmetic progression, only one mark has been asked. It can be changed. 
so more weightage is for the chapter statistics and application of trigonometry so you need to concentrate more on statistics application of trigonometry as well as triangles so again polynomials and pair of linear equation also seven marks has been asked from these two chapters so statistics application of trigonometry triangles polynomials pair of linear equation we can see more weightage has been given to those chapters and arithmetic progression and probability only one mark they have given it, it can be changed also but these chapters are important so you can plan according to that and start studying so this is the overview of question paper so last year total 40 questions were there this year only 36 questions are there so question number 1 to 16 carries one mark last year it, it was like question number 1 to 20 carries one mark 10 multiple choice 5 fill in the blanks and 5 questions for one mark and 70 to 20 will be questions from 70 to 20 will be case based on case study so you have four questions and each question has got subparts also five subparts out of that four you need to choose so four into four 16 so 32 marks will be of objective types and the remaining will be of subjective type now question number 21 to 36 will be for two marks that is six questions for two marks last year also it was like that six questions for two marks 27 to 33 that is three mark question short answer type and that seven questions will be there last year it was eight questions so this year it is seven questions for three marks so 21 marks and question number 34 to 36 three questions for five marks last year it was four questions for six questions were there for four marks so this time only three questions for five marks so 50 marks total 80 marks apart from this for they have also introduced so many internal choice you have for each type of question you have internal choice also is there so you can prepare well plan according to this and you can prepare well for your upcoming exam thank you for watching my video